Uh, Senator Smenya. Yes, let me, let me follow up on Senator Rector's line of questioning. Your counsel is here with you. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah okay. Better. Yes, Your Honor. You are familiar with the law. You are familiar with the Anti-Money Laundering Act. Yes, Your Honor. All right. And you know that you are a covered institution. Yes, Your Honor. Or a covered person, as we amended it in later law. And Section 9A reads, covered institutions or covered persons shall establish and record the true identity of its clients based on official documents. They shall maintain a system of verifying the true identity of their clients and in case of corporate clients require a system of verifying their legal existence and organizational structure as well as the authority and identification of all persons pur pur purporting to act on their behalf. Now you say you didn't know Mr. William Go. Yes, Your Honor. You violated the law. I actually... No, you don't depend. It does not say you can depend on, on another institution's know your customer practice. You are supposed to also know your customer. We, we abide and imply the law to the best of our knowledge, Your Honor. Well, I think your counsel should now teach you how to properly apply the law. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. No, that's very, that's a very well known. So here we have a situation wherein a company called Century Tax transacted $81 million of stolen money and it was transacted through RCBC, through you, without your knowing who owns the account. I was told by the branch manager that it was owned by William Go. So if I told you, if I said you $10 million and say it was owned by John D. Rockefeller, you'll believe me. Mm -hmm. oh, the John D. Rockefeller has been dead for about 50 years already. So you have not followed the law. We relied on the AMLC Rule 9A11. And what is the AMC Rule 9A11? Because the law is the law, and I don't know what rule AMLC can come up with. Third party reliance. Subject to the rules promulgated for the purpose by the supervising authorities, where a third party has already conducted the requisite face to face contact and the identification requirements on its own customers in accordance with these rules and its own money laundering and terrorist financing prevention program. A covered institution, institution may rely on the representation of the third party that it has already undertaken said face-to-face -face contact and customer identification requirements. Ms. Bakay Abad, would you like to respond to that? Yes, and Your Honor. <clears throat> uh, that provision that was read by Ms. Bautista was taken from uh, Banco Central ng Pilipinas Circular 706 and that is uh, specifically subsection X806.1.E.3 and that should be read in conjunction with subsection X806.2.E.1. If I may read the entire provision, Your Honor. You have just confused us with all those numbers. Yeah. <laughs> this, is a, this is a BSP circular, Your Honor. Let, allow me to read the entire provision, Your Honor. Subsection X 806.1.E.3, third party reliance. 
where a third party as defined under subsection X 806.2.8.1 has already conducted the requisite face-to-face -face contact on its own customer who was referred to a covered institution, the latter may rely on the representation of the third party that it has already conducted face-to-face -face contact provided that the pertinent requirements in subsection X 806.2.E.1 are also met. And that subsection X 806.2.E.1 provides, Your Honor, if I may, After you're through with that, you can translate that into English. Uh, here's the, here are the requirements under subsection X 806.2.E.1, Your Honor. Where the customer transacts through a trustee, nominee, agent, or intermediary, which is a third party as defined in the circular. A covered institution may rely on the customer identification process undertaken by a third party. For purposes of this subsection, the third party shall refer to one, a covered institution as certain specifically defined and as generally defined by the AMLA as amended and its re revised implementing rules and regulations, or second, a financial institution operating outside the Philippines that is covered by equivalent customer identification requirements. A BSP accredited custodian may likewise rely in accordance with these rules on the face-to-face -face contact and gathering of minimum information to establish the existence and full identity of the customer con contacted by the seller or issuer of securities or by the global custodian provided the latter has an equivalent customer identification requirements. At any way, uh, your, um, at any rate, Your Honor, um, even if a covered institution is allowed to rely on a third party as far as customer identification process is concerned, the ultimate responsibility of knowing uh, its customer still lies on the, uh, on the covered institution relying on another, on a third party. So in this case, Your Honor, just to make it simple, uh, even if uh, PhilREM relied on the, cost on the KYC process that was conducted by RCBC, PhilREM still has an obligation, an ultimate responsibility to know its customer. That clear? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you very much for enlightening us. I'm, we are sorry that we, we, we were not able to do exactly what was... No, because here you can see what happened, Ms. Bak, uh, Ms. Abad, no? Uh, that was the that was a weak link if you're going to have reliance on a third party and that third party is already the one in question then parang domino effect na yan pwede magturuan ngayon so the way that sounds I'd like to have a copy the committee would like to have copies but uh, we'd like you to re-examine that and tighten that up that's a weak link Yes, Your Honor. As, uh, again, as I mentioned, this circular was issued by the Banco Central of Pilipinas, Your Honor. So that's a Banco Central circular. Is, is that an AMLA circular? Yes, uh, Governor. Yes, Mr. Chairman. There is an implementing circular, that's uh, circular uh, 706. Uh, subsequently, this is a BSP circular. Yes, Mr. Chairman. But uh, the in BSP line... is entitled and allowed or directed to issue the implementing rules and regulations for the Anti-Money Laundering Act? Uh, for its uh, supervised uh, institutions, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, and there, but however, may I add are, that... Are money remitters or money changers supervised institutions of the BSP? They are uh, registered with the BSP, Mr. Chairman. Are they supervised institutions? Not in the sense of banks, Mr. Chairman. Uh, they basically register uh, with Who the... Who supervises uh, remittance companies, actually? No right, one? Right now, Mr. Chairman, the only requisite is that they register uh, with the BSP for purposes of uh, AML compliance. Well, as you can see, they don't comply anyway. Uh, it's now clear, Mr. Chairman, that uh, may I add that 
for the third party reliance uh, based on the BSP regulations there are certain requisites for third party reliance to uh, to hold uh, first of all in this instance uh, uh, Phil Rem can rely provided that it has uh, secured a sworn certification containing uh, certain elements. The certification should state that uh, in this case, uh, the bank has conducted the required KYC and face-to-face -face on the customer, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, that also, the, the, should, the certification should say that RCBC, in this case, has in its custody all the minimum information of the customer and that the, uh, the remittance company here, Philrem, has the ability to obtain identification documents from RCBC without delay. This would be the requisites uh, in this particular situation for third-party reliance to hold, Mr. Chairman. Now, in this particular case, let's say, for example, that uh, just for the sake of argument that Ms. DeGito were a rogue official of RCBC, and the whole thing collapses like a house of cards because you're depending on one officer who can lie to her superiors and who can lie to whoever she does a transaction with. Now, what's your backup uh, in, in a case like that? So, Mr. Chairman, for the third-party reliance, uh, so they may rely uh, based on those requisites, but as uh, pointed out earlier by the AMLAC Executive Director, the ultimate... Uh, responsibility for uh, customer due diligence lies with the remittance uh, agent. Mr. So you can sue now Philrem for violating the law? Uh, based on what uh, we've heard today, Mr. Chairman, there, there may be basis to, uh, to cite them for violating uh, regulations. Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Chairman.